Okay, so we're in our default view here. You can look at my uh, screencast keys will uh, come up in the, this left hand corner here. Hitting delete to remove my cube and also left clicking and deleting my lamp. First, we're going to make the floor that uh, Diamond is going to sit on. So hit shift A, add a plane, hit S to scale, drag that outwards, left click to apply. Uh, then we're going to hit tab. We're going to hit two on our keyboard. Left click on this edge right here. Hit three on the number pad and hit E to extrude. I'm just going to drag this extrusion up to about something like this. Left click to apply. Then I'm going to bevel the, uh, the, the sharp edge here. So just left click and hit control B, click and drag and then scroll with your mouse wheel. You can also use plus and minus buttons on the numpad if you want. So I'm just going to make a, uh, a smooth transition from, from uh, the floor to the walls and just left clicking to apply. And then hit tab to go out of edit mode, right click, shade smooth. Then there's your perfect uh, backdrop. The next thing we're going to do is to add our diamond. So in Blender, there's a extra mesh option, but it's not enabled by default. So we have to enable it in the preferences. So go to edit preferences and go to add-ons and we'll type extra and add mesh extra objects. Tick the box and close the window. Hit shift A go all the way down to diamonds and I'm going to add a gem. Now here we have our diamond model. So we're going to hit G to grab, hit set on our keyboard and drag it upwards. So it's, so it's resting on the floor, but not going through left click to apply. Now is a good time to save your project. If you haven't done that, hit file, hit save as and save your project. Next up, we'll do a uh, camera adjustment. So left click on your camera, hit Alt R, R X 90 on your keyboard and hit seven. And we're just going to grab our camera with G and pull it so it's facing our diamond just in the center here. Now we're going to duplicate our window. Just go up to the right side here, left click and drag and on the, with the mouse hovering on the right side, hit zero on your number pad. Now we can hit G on this right side here and just drag our camera so it's pointing at the diamond. Next up, we'll add a, uh, a lamp, but first we're going to change our render engine to cycles. So changing the render engine to cycles, you just go to uh, render properties where it says render engine, go to cycles and we'll go to uh, the device. We'll go to GPU. Next up, we'll hit Z on our keyboard and go to render view. Now we can see our scene in the render view. Hit control B and click and drag to border out. That saves on performance on your PC. Next up, we'll hit Shift A and add a plane. This is going to be used as a lamp. So hit S to scale, drag outwards, and we'll hit three. Hit G on our keyboard and drag the lamp upwards. I'm going to rotate with R and hit G again, pull it backwards a bit. Now I'm going to add a emission shader to my, my plane here to make it work as a lamp. So going to, uh, while having the plane selected, going to our shader here, hit new, hit the surface button here and go to emission. I'm going to hit set the strength to five and I hit enter. Then with my mouse on the left side, I'm going to hit seven, shift D to duplicate my, uh, my lamp and shift D again rotate and left click again. Now, now we have a very evenly lit scene with a diamond in the middle. We don't have any shaders in our scene here. So 
we're going to fix that. Let's start with our diamond so we can left click on the, on the right side here. Hit new. And we'll just go down to uh, glass. The roughness value, I'm going to pull it down almost all the way to uh, zero, but I found that a bit of roughness made it look better for some reason. There's probably an index of refraction on diamonds, but I found that 1.550 looks better than 1450. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to bevel the edges on our diamond to make it look a bit more reflective. So going to our left side, left screen here, I'm going to orbit around, scroll in to see my diamond a bit better. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And I'm just going to uh, hit three on my keyboard to change to face select. I'm just going to hit shift and left click and deselect while holding down shift deselect these these faces top faces then I'm going to hit control B click and drag and I'm going to just make a subtle bevel something like that hit left click to apply and then we're going to hit tab to go out of edit mode now you can see that our diamond is much more softer next up we'll we'll add a um, color to our uh, our floor here. So left click on our background, hit new. We're going to keep the, the default shader here and we're going down to uh, roughness value. I'm going to drag that all the way down to zero. So we're going to change the background color to black. So we just click the base color and just drag this downwards until you have a pleasing looking render. Now we have a uh, somewhat finished scene, but we're going to add our text and we're going to do some small light adjust adjustments. So I'm going to hit Shift A. I'm going to add our text. So that's down here. Our text, we're going to hit Tab and we're going to write Diamond. Hit Tab again. RX and 90 to make it stand up. We're going to go into our font view here and we're going to go to geometry, extrude our, um, our text, just the slightest 0 0.06 and we're going to bevel it just a bit, something like that. Now it's optional to change the font if you want. So I'm going to uh, collect a font that I use for my thumbnail. I'm going to search for Gothic Century, this one. So I'm going to uh, hit seven on my number pad, G to grab and just pull my, uh, my uh, diamond text in front of my, my diamond. I'm going to hit one on my number pad, scale it down. Hit S and hit G and X. And we're just going to push diamond text so it's in the middle of our scene here. Hit three on your number pad and just hit R to rotate to make the text like tilt, tilt your text backward. Now we can scroll in while holding down shift and the middle mouse button. We can pan in our scene and hit G and grab and pull our text upwards. Now it's also resting right on the floor as the diamond. You see in our scene now we can start um, adjusting some things. I'm going to scale up my diamond just a bit and hit G and make sure it's resting on the floor. And then my diamond text, I'm going to, uh, to uh, do some character spacing on it. Just over here and we'll hit S to scale again. Hit G and X. And we'll place it like that. So we have our text, we have our diamond. Now we can uh, put some color on our text to make it pop more. We'll select the text. We'll go to our shader tab, hit new, and we'll hit glossy this time. Drag this down to a low value of uh, 0. Point something 50 
48. I'm going to add a specific color for my text. Uh, the hex value is in the description. So that's FFC89C. If we click away our, um, our two overlays here, we can look at our scene a bit more. What I usually tend to do is to uh, just use one of our existing lamps. Left click on that, hit three and shift D and just pull it down to our text. Hit one on the number pad S and X and we'll scale it on the X axis. We'll hit three again and we'll hit S and Y two times. Then we're going to scale it so it's not that wide. So now you can see in our render that the lamp is kind of working as a, a shine on half of the text. And I think that looks, looks cool. And we'll hide the lamp from our, um, from our render, make sure it's uh, still selected. Going to this tab right here. And we're going to visibility and we're going to camera. Click that, uncheck that box and uh, the lamp disappears just like that. Now I want to um, adjust my, um, my background so it's not that reflective, but we're going to uh, our shader tab and we're going to the roughness value and we'll just drag it up so we won't see the, the seam in the, in the background here. Okay. I'll just do a decrease in the darkness, darker value here. So we're nearly there with our, our scene here. Um, I'm going to uh, just do a last adjustment of my camera because I think that the, the text is being obstructed by the diamond and, uh, I want, uh, a bit more tilt to my camera. So I left click on my camera, hit three, and I'll just hit shift and middle mouse button and I'll just scroll in, drag down, and I'll just give it some, some tilt here. Just like that. Are you happy with your render? You can uh, go ahead and render it out just using the render properties. I'm going to hit 500 on my render sampling amount. On my performance, I'm going to hit 512 times 512. If you're on CPU, just leave it at 64. Um, I'm also going to uh, add some denoising because we have a lot of fireflies and stuff going on here. So hit denoising on the render here and then we're going to hit F12 to render. So there you have your uh, re finished render. All that's left to do is just hit image and save as. In here you can choose um, your file format. PNG RGB is good for this image to make a lossless format and just choose your file destination. Hit save as and then you there you go. That's your image. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please um, leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want. I'm going to push out more videos as soon as I have time. And I'll catch you in the next tutorial.